back to my channel. Today I have a new recipe I'm excited to share with you. In our last house, we had neighbors from India and my Indian neighbor gave me a number of good recipes. This one happens to be my favorite and I'm gonna show you what it is today. It is a vegetarian recipe. We do it usually as our main dish when we do it and I usually make a lot more than I'm gonna show you today, um, but you can do it as a great side dish too. It's nice and a very flavorful and it's a great well-rounded meal. In fact, our kids will eat it with brown rice on the side. So let me show you what it is. It's called chickpea and carrot stew, but the way I make it, it is not a stew. It's just more chickpeas and carrots. Let me show you. So I started here by preparing all of my ingredients. I've got my spices over here and my vegetables. I got a large onion, four large carrots uh, about this size. And I have a lot of chickpeas. We love chickpeas. They're also called garbanzo beans. I don't know what you call them where you are. They're very good. And then I have one small bushel of cilantro. I usually cook the chickpeas in the crock pot or the pressure cooker. These I did in the pressure cooker a number of days ago. I'm gonna put the leftovers in jars that I'll put in the freezer just to save for later because I will only need three cups of this. I'm starting here on the stove with a fourth a cup of olive oil that I'm heating up. Actually, I didn't have olive oil. I just have avocado oil already opened and out, so I'm using that instead. I think it'll be just fine. I'm gonna heat that up and then fry my one large onion. This will fry up for about six to eight minutes before we add all our spices. My onions are now nice and soft. It's been about five minutes. They're even a little brown, so I think they're about ready. And next I'm gonna add three cloves of minced garlic. Now I'm cheating. I'm gonna add in some of this. Then we're gonna throw in the cilantro. I'm using one small bundle of cilantro that was chopped up. To do this or if you really don't like cilantro, you could leave it out. And I'm sure it'd still be good, but I love cilantro. Next, we're gonna use half a teaspoon of turmeric. I get this at an Iraqi store here in town and it's really good. You can find it in most grocery stores, I have no doubt. Luca's helping me out a little bit. Luca, do you wanna add 3 fourths teaspoon of cinnamon? Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Then we can do up to one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Uh, we're just gonna do one fourth teaspoon because I'm gonna make sure all my kids eat it. Okay, go ahead and stir that together. Okay, now we add some reserved liquid from the chickpeas. We're supposed to use two cans of chickpeas. That would be three cups of chickpeas because each can I usually figure is about a cup and a half. And so when I made the chickpeas, I saved some of the juice from it and we'll go ahead and pour in some of that. So I'm just kind of guessing of how much it would be since I don't really, didn't make some cans. I'll just get about half a cup of that or maybe a little more and add it in. That's what it's looking like, pretty good. Smells amazing. Next we're gonna throw in the carrots right away and I think we're gonna have to add more liquid but I'll probably just do it in the form of water. Can you go ahead and help me there, Luca? Destiny is talking back there. I'm adding another fourth cup of water. Then we're gonna put it down on medium heat and cover it and just let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the carrots are tender. Actually, I'm gonna add one more fourth cup of water. So it's close to a whole cup of liquid that's going in there. About medium, and we're gonna put the top on. No curry in this dish, so if you are looking to try an Indian recipe and you're not a big fan of curry, this might be one to try out. Before Solo and I got married, I got to spend about six months in southern India in Tamil Nadu, 
and the city was called Quambator, and I miss the food there so much, especially idli and coconut chutney and a really spicy donut called vadai. Can't make those things very well, I'm not good at it, but I do like trying new Indian recipes whenever I can, especially ones that are simple like this. And this one's healthy too, so bonus points for that, I guess. <laughs> I am giving this thing a good stir once in a while, but it's cooking up nicely. I can tell the carrots are getting softer. I'm gonna turn it down even a little more. Okay, it's done. Didn't even take quite the time I thought it would. I tried it and they're nice and soft. So now we're gonna add the chickpea, salt, and pepper. So three cups of chickpeas. Then I need extra hand. Judah's gonna help me here. Do one teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of pepper. Black pepper, that is. And then we're just gonna heat it through and it's finished. You can add some fresh cilantro chopped up on top at the end for a garnish, but we probably won't and yeah. Most of my kids like this meal, but I do have a couple, especially a couple girls that won't like it as much, but with a dollop of sour cream on top, they will eat it. So just a little tip for you. <laughs> okay, here's the final product. I tried a bite. It tastes so good. Judy, you gonna try one? He said, this is a good comfort smell. <laughs> good familiar smell. You like it? Mm-hmm. Now my mother-in-law, Made, she told me she loves chickpeas, so I'm gonna take this bowl to her. You want me to eat? Yeah, try the chickpeas. I love this so See if you like it Indian style. Is it good? So good. <laughs> uh, good. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you try this recipe, please let me know what you think, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.